Okay, in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how you can use Instagram to do ads, advertising, um, and how to promote your Instagram post. So this is an event I have coming up for um, next week in Hayward, California. It's how to use Instagram um, for your business. So great timing. Um, I can view insights on this post. Right now I just installed, or actually I just switched over to a business account, so you're not gonna see insights yet. Um, but the, one, the option I do wanna show you is if you click on promote, it gives you some of the same options as it does with Facebook advertising, only it's a little, um, I would say it's more, I guess, straightforward. So basically, I'm going to select my button text. You could probably do this last, but I'm going to say um, sign up. I'm going to put the link. I had to think about the link for a minute. Okay, so when people um, come to your page, they'll see that sign up. Now your audience, I wouldn't leave it at um, automate. I'm gonna leave, it's, I'm new, sorry, it's, I'm new to Instagram marketing this way because it's a new feature, but in Facebook, I'm all about doing split testing. So I would create my own audience. I'm gonna call this Bay Area Stylist. Moise or a makeup artist and then barbers and what I would do is I would go through and pick the location so I'm I, I said Bay Area so I'll probably do Hayward okay all my posts are coming up Hayward San Leandro San Lorenzo not Puerto Rico Oakland, of course, Union City, and Castro Valley. Um, that is around the barbershop that I'll, and salon that I'll be holding this event. So I know people will be close. Um, I'm going to change the age because I know the age range of the people that I'm looking for are probably close to 35 to 45. Um, usually I would aim it just towards females. That's my audience. But for the mo for this event, it's males and females. So now I'm going to look for people who are barbers. Now, remember this is, um, I don't know if this is the same. Um, it looks a little bit different, um, than the interests that are on Facebook. So they might be geared towards, Instagram um, interest um, hairstyles hair products um, I'm just gonna put a couple of different things usually again. I would do split testing. I'm just putting a couple of things I'm trying to think of wall. I think is a um, It's a product for barbers, so I would say makeup Lessons that's good makeup artists Let's see if that comes up. Makeup first school. Okay, so that's fine. Um, so this is close enough. So basically, oh, let's try Barber Salon. Sorry, you guys, my Facebook. I should have stopped that. Um, let's do Salon. Beauty Salons. And I'm going to do Aveda because I know that that is just something that salon stylists um, kind of know. I don't know about fusion, fusion, we'll leave that. So usually up here I would put like W for women and then put like the age and all of that in the name. So make it very descriptive. I'm gonna put done, okay. Okay, you could set your total budget um, and then the duration. So I'm gonna say, let's run this. Um, the event is on trying to think of when it is. The event is in six days. So I'm gonna put six days. I'm gonna spend $10. No, actually, I'm gonna try for 20. I'm gonna pause it as I add my payment method. So actually, of course, you wanna preview it first. Sign up, cool. 
It looks like it, it removed my spacing here, but that's fine. I don't care about that. And I'm going to add a payment method. I just want to see if PayPal comes up. Cool. So I'll do PayPal. Continue. And I believe that came up like that because... And I believe it became it came up like that because I already have an account set up with Facebook and my Facebook account is connected. So I'm making that assumption. Okay, I'm going to click on Promote. Thanks for your promotion and has been sent for review. Now, this is my only thing. On um, Facebook, you can only have 20% text. I don't see exactly where the rules are for this, so we'll see if it's re approved or not. Or not, I'll let you know. Okay, I want to show you guys that, oh, let me show you two things. Um, I'm looking at the the ad that I just created. If I click on currently promoted, it shows that basically it's being promoted. So I'm assuming that was accepted. I also did the video just in case. Um, okay, I want to show you what happens after you try to promote your um any of your posts. So in order to see if it's been approved, I'm just going to go to the heart and you'll see that there's a recent activity. Um, and then right there you see the promotion. So I could click on it. And what I ended up doing was promoting the video also, just in case Instagram had um, any kind of restrictions. So I'm looking and it looks like this one um, was approved, right? It has my promotion and my details. And so is the one, the original one with all the text. So, so far, it looks like Instagram does not have the limit for the 20% text. So, for those of you who don't know, if you advertise on Facebook, you can't have more than 20% text on the image. So, it looks like Instagram, they don't care. Super juiced at this. Let's see how this goes. I'll come back with the actual um, results of my advertising and the analytics in my analytics video. I'll put the um and I'll put the link I'll put the link to the analytics video below once I do that. Hey Nina again. So did you like that video? All you have to do to see more videos like that is one, like that video and then subscribe to my channel and then you'll be notified as I get more tutorials. Or if you'd like to ask about me doing a tutorial, go ahead and leave the comments in the box below and I'll respond and let you know if we're gonna add it to our list. Also, don't forget that I'm here every Wednesday at 10, 10 p.m. Eastern answering questions. But again, don't forget, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And subscribe. See you soon.